Hey guys, Callie here, and today is a video I have been waiting so long to film. Well, I've been waiting so long because I didn't finish it, but blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I've just been waiting so long to film this because I've been taking forever to do my house, and I just wanted to show you guys so badly as I finished step by step, but I was like, no. No, you have to show them when you're fully finished and when everything is looking good and Christmassy inside because the Christmas update came at the perfect time and I was just like, wow, because my house didn't look this um, white and Christmassy before. I, it, I had green trees, I had green grass, it was all lush and posh looking. But then a Christmas update came, everything turned white, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna turn everything white too, everything's gonna be Christmassy. And originally, I had two floors, and I was like, I don't know if it's mansion enough. Mansion-y enough. <laughs> I don't know. But I wanted it to be massive, like, I wanted people to come and see it and be like, whoa, like, that's a mansion. So, this is like, I basically built my dream house because I want my house to be this big, this, I want my property to be this over the top for no reason at all. I just want it to be that big. So I'm going to show you guys my house on the outside and then the inside. So first let's look around here. As you can see, I went overboard with the decorating. To me, there's no such thing as too many decorations. I have three sleighs, okay? Like one, two, three. And I have reindeer all the way up there on the banister. So, I mean, come on. There's no such thing as too many decorations. So let's look around here. I put some like dirt piles and made them into snow because I don't like the actual Bloxburg snow. It, it's just like concrete that's colored white. So I don't like the way that looks. You can see these new trees and the white trees. No, thank you, Marla Boss. And over here is my first garage area. This is a driveway right here. I have my two bikes because sometimes I don't like taking my car to work, so I take a bike and it's, you know, easier to access, easier to maneuver. So let's go down here. I have 18 Jeeps total. People think it's too many, but I don't care. I'm not here to like flex or anything. I just love having all these Jeeps. Like it's fun to collect, it's fun to buy, and why not? I have the money so I can do whatever I want with it. I think it's people who have no money who get mad when they see it and like, oh, you could have donated. Like, I do donate, okay? But that doesn't mean I have to spend all my money donating. <laughs> I can spend it on myself too. So this is the back area. And I wanted it to be like a cozy type, comfortable setting for like if friends come over and you could just sit in the back and just chill and be all warm by the fire. And then over here is my pool area. At first, I didn't know how to make it like not look summery because it was just too summery. And then one of my friends said, just freeze the water. And I was like, how do you do that? What? And so I just put a floor over it, basically, over the water, and then used the little, uh, what's it, a pattern? And it looked like ice, as you can see. So now it looks like I have frozen water, which I think is so cool. So when next year, around like April time, I'll unfreeze it because that's when it starts to become springtime. Over here, it leads into my next set of garages. More like stables, because they're like stables. I didn't want actual garages because I didn't want to have to park all of them, like parking 18 Jeeps, no thank you. So I like this idea. I did it first over there, and then when I bought more, I did it over here, and one of my friends helped me because I needed help with this edge over here. It was so difficult. But yes, these are the rest of my Jeeps. On this side, I just love how crazy colored they are, crazy patterns, like who's gonna think, who's gonna make a Jeep this kind of pattern? I mean, come on. Like who's gonna have a zebra colored Jeep? <laughs> I just, I just like all the different patterns. I literally used all the patterns and so many different color variations as I could. I love this one because it looks all rusty and like dirty and old. <laughs> I love the way that one looks. I love this pattern too. I love the color 
coordination like oh beautiful so yeah this is the back area um the driveways so now let's take a peek inside let's go down here past the beautiful fountain and my jumbo nutcrackers and santa hey santa how you doing I'm mad that Santa can't go in a sleigh, but you know what? It's okay. I didn't even know that the fountain was frozen until my sister said something. I was like, what? It's frozen. In this area, I used to have a bench with like a little uh, light in the middle of it, but I wanted this massive penguin, so I was like, sorry, bench, you could come back in the summertime because no one's going to sit outside anyway. So this is the entrance. I don't have a doorbell because I have pillars right here and a doorbell is not going to fit. And I don't want to put it like on a sidewall. So you're just going to have to knock, which I won't hear because I don't have my sound on usually. So here's the foyer area and my ginormous Christmas tree, which goes into the second floor and into the light, apparently. <laughs> I didn't even see that. And I have a bunch of presents around it. I didn't have to put this big tree here, but I wanted the huge tree, the large Christmas tree. And this was the only place that it will fit because this is the only place where it's open for two floors. So I think it's a really, really good place to put it. I also, if you know me, you know, I am obsessed with The Flash. Like, I literally love The Flash. I am just, oh, I love him. I've loved him since I was a child. I love him now. I've watched the show so many times, and I'm just, like, obsessed. So, in every single room in this house where there's a picture or a painting, it's going to be of The Flash. Just a warning, okay? Flash warning. This is the front area when you walk in. You go all the way here to the formal living room. You know, in these giant houses, there's always a formal living room and then like an informal living room. So this is my formal one with the flash. Like, look at how beautiful and HD this picture is. Like, oh gosh, yes, Barry Allen. All right, sorry, I got a little crazy there. But up here, you can see, oh, it could have fit here too, because it goes up two floors here, but nah, too, too many things in this area. So you can see more, oh, someone is in my house. Excuse me. Um, Get out, kick out, boom. I'm gonna block him for now, because I'm trying to do a house tour, okay? What's his name? Raymond. Sorry, um, you're gonna have to be blocked because I know you're gonna try it again. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, by the way, my house value is $2,610,999. Crazy. All right, so that guy is gone. <laughs> okay, so let's start on this side of town. Oh, more flash pictures. I just love all my flash pictures. Like, oh gosh. Okay, so this is my office with a little library. And I also have a ladder here. Oh no, don't read book. Climb the ladder. No. Oh, I keep pressing E. That's why. Huh? Smart. So here is the ladder to climb to reach the top shelf. And then you can see my premium trophy. The nice little tree and a snow globe and then this is where I put my level 50 plaque for my hard work and dedication as a cashier at Bloxburg Fresh Food which I'm so proud of that I can't wait for my mining one to be right up there it's gonna be right over here in this area but yeah so this is just my office where I can sit and do some work and my little sister said I should put a gaming computer since you know I'm gaming but I don't have blocks bucks for that and I don't want to spend blocks bucks on a gaming PC so there are chairs in front of here for when I have my little meetings with people and then over here is a spa I replicated it from the spa that I have in my mall because ugh, I needed it in home spa like come on if I want to relax I can just come here and chill in my own little spa and it's just so convenient I mean this is a mansion so I need it to go all out you know and in this room over here is the in-home gym I had to I had to you can't have a mansion without an in-home gym you know so I have pink or this purple purple and blue just because I needed some different colors and blue is my favorite color and 
purple is just another alternative and this door leads to the bathroom which is a guest bathroom so this is like a community type bathroom with a shower i i think i made all my bathrooms with the shower because i feel like if people are down here and they want to take a quick shower they can just stay down here and they don't have to like go in someone's room and this door actually leads to the hallway so this is the door you guys probably saw look at my little flash pictures ah! okay so let's go in here next this is the formal dining room or yeah 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 formal dining room there's always a formal dining room okay always a formal living room always a formal dining room there's a chair right here oh oops <laughs> there's a chair right here uh if you want an extra chair to pull up but of course you can't pull up any chair, but it's just a thought if real people were actually living in here, you know? So let's go into here, the informal living room where every, what everyone uses. Like this is where everyone's gonna gather around. I have another tree here, more flash pictures, flash painting, hello. <laughs> and then my decorated fireplace my nice tv oh i just love this color scheme it's my favorite color like i love the shade of blue it's just so beautiful of course i have a grand piano in here i mean <laughs> why not some bookshelves with some books and more flash pictures of course a little informal dining area whoa this is my first time sitting in these chairs i didn't realize how far in they were wow let's try sit here Ooh, okay, well, no one's gonna be sitting here, <laughs> but someone made me a cake, Oh, because I'm not at that level to make a cake yet. I'm only at the level six, and I'm not even close to level seven, so I won't be able to make a turkey for- What the heck, bruh? Stop breaking into my house. This is another person, goodbye. Jeez, I'm trying to film here, guys. Like, stop breaking in, please. Jeez, it's so annoying. Like, I literally don't like when people try to break in my house. Like, all you have to do is ask for perms. And it's not like they're making a video to break into people's houses. Like, they're just breaking in, just to break in. Like, I swear like five people broke into my house yesterday and I'm just like, seriously, all I said was, hi. Like, no, if you're not making a video, it's not funny, okay? All right, anyway, so this is my nice big kitchen and another flash poster with reverse flash this time. And let's go down here. I don't have a lot of doors really because I didn't want to have to keep opening and closing and opening and closing. So let's go down here. This one, I have this big penguin here. I had to, I had to have one in my house. This is just a nice sitting area. It's not really a place people will go often. It's literally just for show. But there's another Christmas tree with presents underneath it. Some bookcases and it's literally just a chill room for when you want to get away from people. And I love this carpet. I was like, yes, beautiful color. So let's go down to this hallway. And this is the laundry room. I noticed that in a lot, in some uh, videos of YouTubers that I watch, I usually only watch British people. So when I watch them, I'm like, they have their laundry room in a kitchen. Like, it's so weird. Like, is that a British thing or a UK thing? Like, I don't understand, but we don't do that here in America. It's a literally its own separate room um, away from everything. So. I mean, maybe some houses are designed for it to be in a kitchen, but that's not like common. Like it's literally in their kitchen and it's so weird. So this is a little place where you can uh, go outside. So from outside, it's this area right here. You can just go through here and I have a movie theater. Yes, I had to. I had to. It's a mansion. Like I keep saying, like I just had to go all out with this and they're watching the Grinch. I love this Grinch, it's so cool. It's so good, so cool, what? <laughs> so yeah, you could just, oops, I think I turned off the light, yeah. You could just sit here and watch it with a nice red carpet lining, some popcorn. Someone was like, why you put so many popcorns? I'm like, because I need popcorn for my movie theater and then I put a lot because people will come in my house and just binge eat all of them. So I need to put a whole bunch each time. And 
in this corner you see it's a little box if you go over here it's actually a bathroom because I mean you don't have to go all the way to the other side of the house to use a bathroom when there's one right here for you just a small one so let's get out of this one and I think that's it for downstairs let me see I think that's all yeah so that's all of downstairs all the normal stuff so now for upstairs these are the rooms and i love this picture whoever made it kudos to you <laughs> so this is just a little walkway area if you want to come out your room and just look in the mirror one more time before you go downstairs you can let's go to this first room here it's just a little kids room that i made even though like i have no kids or roleplay kids so it's kind of like what but I wanted to make a room just in case like what if kids sleep over or what if I roleplay and they're kids and they need to need somewhere to sleep I needed at least one kids room and I made it so Christmassy and nice this is a toy box with toys and a little snowman and gingerbread I think it's so cool more flash pictures of course and then this is just a little closet. They're going to be wearing red and green for all of December. <laughs> just kidding, but I just like... It, it went with the theme of the room, so I just kept it like that. I'll change it when uh, Christmas is over, which is, for me, it's like over in like January, end of January. So I'm going to keep all my Christmas stuff until February, basically and some guitars for them to play and practice on so that's the first room there are seven rooms total i believe yeah so four on this floor and then three on the top floor so yeah seven rooms total and then there's this nice room for just an adult to sleep in if an adult sleeps over then they can just sit there there's a nice computer for them i love this bed like it comes with built-in um what are these called? Desks? And it looks so cute. It also goes out to a balcony or a terrace area where you can just sit, look, overlook the backyard, chat with your peoples, look at the cars, <laughs> the jeeps. And then there's another closet. It's like a, it's a walk-in. So you can walk in. It has a little nice table in here. I just love this room. Like, when I was making it, I'm like, dang, this could have been my room. But <laughs> when you guys see my room, you're going to be like, are you serious? Like, you went overboard. But hey, it's my dream house. I can make it however I want. So this is another room. Oh, someone left the closet door open. Some people toured it yesterday, uh, last night, before. When I was finished, when I finished it last night, people toured it. So there might be some doors open. Because you guys know, I don't leave doors open. But this is just an all pinked out room. Oh, yep. I need to make this bed. Someone didn't make it. <laughs> all pinked out room. All cute and Barbie looking. And I don't know. I just went with this theme because I needed different colors. I feel like I'm always choosing the same colors and I just wanted to go crazy. And there's a little, there's a computer desk in every room because Hello, we live in an age where everyone uses technology, so I would want a computer in my room, even if I was a guest. Another little walk-in closet, and it has different colored clothes, of course, because this is not the Christmas-themed room, it's just a normal room. So that's the third room. Now, I'm going to show you guys my room, okay? When I show you my room, I need no judgment, okay? I, I don't care if you judge me, I don't care. I, I just love my room so much. So my room is down here. Oh, wait, wait, before my room, let's look over here, a little walkway. Oh, this is the entryway with the Christmas tree. All right, forget that. So <laughs> I'm just excited to show my room. I'm trying to hurry up. So this is a little balcony area that you could see from outside. Wow, look at this. Let me uh, look up. Oh my gosh, look, oh. Okay, oops, let's go back out. Look at this, it's so big, oh my gosh. Like, I never really realized how big it was. It's just beautiful. All right, let's go back down. And now let's go see my room. All right, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Let's do it in one, two, three. Ah, look at this. Ah! Beautiful! Beautiful! Let's close this door so you can get the full 
effect. Oh my gosh, like look at this. Guys, I got this um, theme of the room based off someone, this small YouTuber that I found recently. Her videos are so good, so I'll link her down below because this whole room is a concept of what she did to her room. Because I didn't know, I don't really know how to design things. And I didn't know how to design a huge room like this. I'm like, what would go where? Where would I put the bed? Where would I put the TV? Where would I put this? I'm like, do I need couches? Do I need... So, I didn't know what I needed, I didn't know what to do, and I just happened, I wasn't even searching for something to help me because I was just going to wing it and go with it and see how it was going to look. And I just happened to look at her video, it's like a Barbie's dream house, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so perfect, it's literally what I want. So shout out to her, I think it's Spookles is her name, because thank you so much, I had no clue what to do with my room. So. Anyway, let's look at my room. This is the bed. I have to have a four poster, you know. It's all blue because blue is my favorite color. And it's this room is just so huge and I love it. I love it so much. So of course we have the bed, some benches to sit on if you want to just watch TV at the edge of your bed while you're pulling on your socks, you know, even though my feet can't even reach the floor. <laughs> and I have some little couches. My little sister thought they were bean bags and she thought I was wearing pajamas. So she was just like, okay, I need to go because I'm just messing everything up. I'm like, yeah. And so I don't have on pajamas, by the way. And these aren't bean bags. I wish there were bean bags though. You can sit here to watch TV or you can be in bed and watch TV either way. Over here is just a bunch of Christmas presents with the Christmas trees. I don't know what I'm going to turn this area into when Christmas is over. We'll just have to see more beautiful flash pictures. I needed, I had to use the one from downstairs in this room so I could just stare at it. Just kidding. Let's go over here. More flash. This is the flash I grew up with. Wally West, I love you. Let's go over here. Over here is just a sitting area just to chill, read some books if I want to just, you know, relax. Another sitting area entryway type that leads to the bathroom. Oh, I love this bathroom. I also base the bathroom off of Spookle so you can go down and see her little Barbie series, which looks so, so cute and so cool. Like, she's such a great builder. I can't wait to see more content from her. But I just have some towels here for after. You wash your hands. Yes, before anyone points it out, I will point it out first. The counters are floating. Yes, they are not touching the ground because it's gonna be too far from the ground to wash my hands if I just put it directly on the ground, on the floor. I'm saying ground, ground is outside on the floor so yeah ignore that i said i'm saying it before someone else says it <laughs> this is my bathtub i have some counters there some soap perfume some candles and then those can be like shampoo bottles soap bottles you know stuff that you need in a shower and or in a bath because it's not a shower i have some towels and paper towels over here with a brush and comb Blow dryer, straightener, makeup, you know, just essentials, things you'll need in a bathroom. I do have a mirror here, right? Yes, okay. Thought I didn't have a mirror for a second. Alright, so close that. That's that part of my room. And then this part of my room is my closet. My super duper walk-in closet. Like, look at this. This is just overboard, right? I love it so much. I have a bunch of perfume bottles in here, some makeup some mirrors in i think i have two yeah there are two in here this is a coat rack for when i want to hang up my coats and some drawers with miscellaneous items quote unquote a nice christmas tree of course another mirror and my different clothes i just love this so much i was gonna do some decals of um clothing and purses and shoes but i was like no I want something that I can interact with. So I just put a bunch of these clothes and I love it so much. My little sister, yes, I'm quoting my little sister here a lot because she saw my house yesterday. <laughs> she said it looks like a store. It's just like all I need is a cash register and it will just be, it will complete it. <laughs> so yeah, this is my room, the master bedroom. It's a master bedroom, so it needs to be masterful, you know? So 
I love it. I hope you guys like it. Tell me what you think so far. I just love my room. This is my favorite room in the whole house, of course. All right, so that is it for the second floor. These are all the rooms, so four rooms on the second floor. Now up to the third floor. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. Here are some pool tables, which is crazy because I used the same tutorial that Phoebe did in her, um, in her video, but <laughs> I, I used it before I even saw her video of the, of her lodge. So I was like, wow, that's just ironic because my sister said make a game room. So I was like, I need some pool tables. So I looked up a tutorial happened to be the same one, which is so cool. So I'll link that down below as well. And like, this is just so unique, so perfect. Someone was like yesterday, oh my gosh, how'd you make pool tables? I was like, YouTube girl, YouTube. So these two are the pool tables and some pool sticks. I don't know what they're really called <laughs> for people to use. And here's a little uh, cafe type area for people who want to just get a little drink, a little snack. I put some cookies here just just because, but they could get some coffee and some tea. And I actually need a little fridge up here so that they can actually make some snacks. <laughs> and I just wanted this area to be like an open type warming area where you can just do whatever you want. Over here, you can sit down and listen to people play the instruments or listen to music from the speakers. I have two speakers here and then I have some yeah, yeah, over here, over here. Some speakers over here, one right there, and then one over there. And on this corner, we have a Christmas tree. On the other corner, we have another Christmas tree. And then we have a little sitting area where you can watch TV, watch some Christmas films, put some logs in the fireplace. Oh my gosh, I didn't know the fireplace made sounds until I turned my sound off. Usually I have my sound no, no, don't turn my sound on. Usually, I have my sound off. So, when I turn my sound on for the first time in forever, I was like, what is that sound? I was like freaking out because I have like four fireplaces and they were all on, they were all crackling, and I went and I turned all of them off. I was like, I don't like that. So I just turned my sound off and I turned the fireplaces back on because I'm like, they look so good, like they have to be on. So there are some chairs here you can sit on to watch the people play pool or to just sit and chat with your friend if you want to. Of course, it looks kind of crazy, like who's gonna be playing music and watching TV and playing pool and eating snacks and stuff and talking all at the same time. No one's gonna be doing that, but it's I wanted something for everyone, you know, for people who came over. I'm thinking about in real life. <laughs> and over here is another guest bathroom. I needed one upstairs, of course, because if people are gonna be entertained, they need a place to use the bathroom. <laughs> and this is huge, so much bigger than the one downstairs, but I feel like a bigger area, a bigger bathroom, you know? So this is one of the bedrooms. It's so simple. I didn't really decorate these bedrooms because I was like, it's just a guest bedroom. It's not like, it's my bedroom, I need to go all out in. Like people are just gonna stay here for a little bit and then leave. So I just designed it simply, like in a simple way. They just need a bed, a carpet, a computer, and yeah, that's it. So here is a small closet and then a bathroom in here for whoever. I, I felt like the room was gonna be too big so I created a bathroom because why not? Some rooms can have some bathrooms in it, you know? And so that's the bathroom. This is a room and two more rooms down here. So this is one of the first rooms. This is like kind of Christmassy too because of the red. It's like a red velvet type uh, color, which I love. And another computer. As I said, there's a computer in every room. And here's another bathroom. This bathroom is huge! Whoa! I did not realize how big it was. I I didn't tour my entire house yesterday, so seeing all of this is like, whoa. Like, seeing it out of build mode is, is very different. <laughs> so this is the bathroom, and then over here is the closet. I couldn't find another place to put the closet, so I was like, it can go in a bathroom, because some people have closets in their bathrooms, so why not? And then 
The last room is over here. It's a nice peachy kind of color. It's a bunk bed, so whoever wants to sleep in here together can. And all oh, my flash posters. <laughs> I just love it so much. It, this is the end. This is all that is in my house. So let me know what you guys think. People think I'm trying to flex or whatever. Like, I'm not trying to flex on anyone. It's just like I wanted to build a house that I would want in real life. And plus, it's Roblox, it's Bloxburg. We can use our creativity to build whatever we want. It's fun, it's fun to be creative, it's fun to create things that people would think is like shocking. And a house like this is definitely shocking. So this is going to be my main house. I deleted my other house, of course, so I'm no longer homeless. My house is finished, renovations are done. I hope you guys like my house. I love my house, like I feel so content with this. And yeah, I'm I'm doing another build. I'm not gonna say it because I feel like it's so unique. It just came to my head. I haven't looked up any videos on it. I just looked up a picture. I have that picture and that's it. I hope I can pull this off. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. If you did, give it a like, subscribe for more videos. Make sure you click that bell so you can know when I post. If you guys want to see some different videos other than Bloxburg, like some Fleet of Facility, more Fleet of Facility, Fashion Famous, any videos like that, let me know and I will try to do those or any other games that I haven't mentioned yet or some role play ideas you want me to do and I will try to do that but hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye!